Balayat and his people did not wait for the administrative court's verdict next Wednesday, but they rather announced their boycott to the FLN's 10th National Conference in a move to perturb the venerable party and to appeal in the conference's legitimacy, since Balayat speaks about 200 members of the Central Committee, in addition to 200 deputies in the parliament following his steps and supporting his decisions. But what is not shown is the sign that Belayat announced last weekend, which was received by Belayat, in which he says that the FLN's leadership file to hold the conference is complete and covers all conditions. The court's decision on Wednesday will definitely not serve Sadani's opponents. The boycott choice is the only option for Balayat, who already appealed in the legitimacy of the current preparations for the conference and the election way for deputies, so he already did not recognize what will result from the gathering. In contrast, it seems that Sadani aims settling the battle of legitimacy, stressing that Balayat claims are just propaganda that lacks support. Furthermore, FLN's leaders challenged Balayat to reveal the signatures list he talks about. After surpassing Balayat's hit to hinder holding the conference, the FLN is in front of the task of ensuring the success of the conference, and everyone is expecting what the conference would hold in the end of this month amid inquiries about Sadani's promises about renovation and prioritizing youth.